Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Nimrod's Guncraft Survivor. It's... it's another bullet heaven. So for this time, you're building your gun via parts, uh, and... I think this might be it? Cool, select an upgrade. So, on kill, 100 enemies, chance of dropping a credit, while firing extra movement speed, or on reload, spawn an EXP nearby. Ooh. So we could either do... Hmm... Probably, oh, let's go for the, let's go for the blood magazine. I'm not actually sure, ooh, and can I go into the settings? Yes, can we take out these sound effects? Yes, I'm not, I am just not a gunfire fan. Like this is kind of the upper limit of what I can tolerate. I don't mind shooters for the most part, but it's just one of those where it's like, I don't know. Been here, seen it, uh, been here, heard it before. On hit, gain a tech stack. On fire, lose 10% of your current tech stacks for every tech stack. 0.1% research drop rate. Uh, let's see, for every 0 0.01 movement, meters per second of movement speed causes you to lose plus two max health. Ugh. Ah? And then also we just have an underbarrel flamethrower. Gain a flamethrower, flame per second up to 20. 10 flames per second, dealing 8 damage. Okay. I'm gonna... Uh, let's see. Extra penetrations. Oh, next level? Wait, oh, we can level these up. That's interesting. What does this give me? Flame generation rate on flame hit. Inflict fire. Let's go for the underbarrel flamethrower. Oh, that's way more interesting than I thought. Yeah, just a, a whole secondary uh, weapon effect that I can just pull out when I need. Sounds good. Okay. Each vision your partner possesses, extra vision range, or bullet damage no longer reduced when hitting faraway targets. Scoped sight might be okay. I think I'm going to go for the lightweight grip, though. And it is affecting the gun. I'm quite curious to see how this works. Oh, right. Oh, it's not a it's not a dash. It's like a sprint. All right. There we go. I like the fact that leveling up kills a bunch of enemies. So health and health regen per, per minute. If still, at, still alive, normal enemies drop 40% of their EXP five seconds after spawning. That's interesting. A weighted stock or gyroscopic uh, harness lowers my rate of fire, increases my damage, but it gives me extra penetrations and bullet size. I think I'm going to go for the heart charm, though. Because, yeah, if they're alive after X amount of time, they drop extra EXP, supposedly. Okay, I'm not actually sure how that's how that functions because they didn't drop the EXP. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I probably should have gone for the penetrations, but the uh, EXP farming sounds vaguely interesting enough for me to want to give it a shot. Just toast some of these, lure them in. Beautiful. Eventually, that's not going to kill things, and that's going to be weird. So, Granny's Notches, Enemy Spawn Rate, Airdrop Capacity, Underbarrel Recharge Rate, Movement Speed Recharge Rate, Rate of Fire, and Dodge Skill. Go for Gunny's Notches. Go for the extra Enemy Spawn Rate. I don't know, I don't actually know if it's a good idea. In fact, it's probably a terrible one. Okay, so we are actually hard limited and hard locked to where we are. And that regen is probably not going to work too hot for me. Yeah, so we should probably, uh... We should probably go out of our way to grab more... Uh... More actual damage upgrades. We're kind of in there. Oh, that's a thing of beauty right there. Okay, so penetration research drop rate. 
rate of fire dodge skill, crit bonus, or bullet damage max health. Like, 8% penetrations isn't that huge. I'm curious about the research drop rate. And these are just random upgrades. Because I could increase our damage by a smidge. I think I'm going to go for the Coffinite Striker. Uh, not that we're critting much. But that does seem to make critting a little bit more viable. I'm probably hosed in the long term. But I wasn't really expecting to win this. At least not on my first round, and who knows? Ooh. Okay, so they do chase you. Ow. Ow. Everything is just bumping me. Uh, wow. Got the lot of them. That's good. Okay, bullet damage no longer reduced. Rate of fire and bullet damage. Lightweight stock is not a bad idea. I think let's go for the lightweight stock. Doubling my rate of fire is tempting. Let's go with this. It also gives me a, a bit of a movement speed boost, which I think we can kind of use. Though I think, once again, we're mostly just in trouble. Oh, well, we've got a mission completed. So, my assumption is... Oh. Oh, we have got a much larger field just around here that I can run around in. I was assuming we were locked in a much smaller environment near the crash site, but, um... I was wrong. Unfortunately, the blue Uzis are, uh... They stick with you. They're not just the circle that kind of slowly moves in on a vague point on the map. There we go. Okay, so we can get another Coffinite Striker. More bullet speed, move speed, rate of fire, bullet damage, max health. I guess I'm going to get another Coffinite Striker. Even though what we really need is some crit damage to, re to make it actually sing. Uh, if I can manage to get some amount of crit damage, we'll be in a very solid position. Okay. So, new bigger enemies. And then the usual suspects. Alright, there we go. Level up. And it does actually scale with our level in terms of damage. So, special power research gains, bullet count, health regen, Let's go with the anti-safe selector. I don't know how bullet count works. Is that for my, um... Is that for, like, how much ammo I have? Or how many bullets I'm firing simultaneously? I guess I'll figure it out or something. I do really appreciate that each enemy does kind of have its own... Baseline, uh, how would I describe it? Ugh. Uh, they move differently. They're not all just, like, moving directly at me. It's mostly the blue guys. Wow, performance is getting kind of choppy. My assumption is either too many enemies spawning simultaneously, or uh, the EXP is actually causing some issues. What I'm hoping to do is level up here and take out the mass. There they go. Except for the bosses. They're still there. I'll pick it up. Okay. On hit, while health is below, deal... Or uh, greater. Sorry. That's okay. Extra of fire, max HP and armor. On being touched by an enemy, release a shockwave doing 10 damage. Or... No, let's go for the dissuasive... Energetically dissuasive barrel. So whenever an enemy touches me, I will... Uh, do a shockwave. I mean, it's like every five seconds, but still. Ooh, that's a lot. I was hoping the flamethrower would actually have some pierce to it. But I suppose I'm out of luck in that regard. Look, I'm still alive. I'm calling that a victory. 
I was expecting to get hosed down much earlier. But we're still here. Oh, come on. I needed you to be further up north. At least the big guys aren't aren't that tanky. Ooh, an apple? So bullet size, collection range, spawn, airdrop capacity, or bullet damage max health. And I'd like to kill one of you. Oh, they split. Of course they'd split. Oh. Yeah, we definitely need to get our hands on just a little bit of piercing. And it'll it will be uh a pretty massive change as far as this run goes. At least we've got them kind of hoarded up and easy to control. Oh, please land on them. Okay, what do we have? Crit chance. Uh, most assuredly that. Because, yeah, previously it was 1 in 20. Now it's uh, just shy of 1 in 5. Okay. So I could... Upgrade the compressed flamethrower, increasing my bullet damage, max health, and flame generation rate and damage. On firing final bullet, 10% chance of spawning 5 value credit, bullet damage and mag size. Move speed or... Fancy heart charm. You know, I'm going to go for that. On take damage, plus 60 health regen per minute. Duration is one second per four damage you took. Uh, on heal, spawn 70 XP nearby. That seems... helpful. Yeah, I'm not sure what credits are exactly used for. I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of meta progression system between each run, maybe. Okay. I should probably save the flames specifically for the little wormies. Okay, grab it. What else have we got? Special power research gained. Bullet size collection range. Or... Probably just cold force uh, forged casings. We need more damage. There we go. Grab the money. And we're healing fine. Actually. Yeah, that level two heart charm is uh, actually really good. Oh, blessed be. It actually hit this time. Uh, let's see. So effect size, reload speed, and healing bonus. Yeah, let's go for the reload speed and healing bonus. Ow. There we go. Level up again. What do we grab? Uh, let's see. So vision range, extra rate of fire. Tempting. Extra mag size, but we don't need that that much. So let's... I. You know what, actually? Let's go for the hemolytic magazine. So that's going to be hurting me, but it's also going to be boosting my regen constantly. Because every time I take damage, it boosts my regen by an amount. So I might actually heal more than I take in damage. Okay, he really doesn't want me to go through there. Well, that's fine. 
Okay, EXP gain, right? Reload speed and healing bonus. Here's the thing. I guess I'm just gonna go for the healing bonus. Blessed be, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Going for the crit chance. The biggest possible damage boost I can get. Because now it's one in three bullets. Okay, level up, level up, grab it. Whoa. Each enemy hit by this augment shockwave also spawns a Tesla bolt, hits nearby enemies. That's pretty good. Oh, flamethrower, or oh, this is tough. So, do we want the extra rate of fire? Or do we want the extra bullet damage health? No, let's go for the armor. Yeah, unfortunately, those piercing, um, those piercing barrels might be somewhat mutu mutually exclusive. Uh, I might not be able to get them again. Go for the penetrations, even though 8% extra is not, I don't think it's notable enough to actually get me anywhere. Like I said, very glad to see that there's a multitude of enemy patterns to keep things fresh and interesting. Okay, that gets rid of them. Rate of fire dodge skill? Absolutely. Okay, what is... wait, what? What is this? I've rescued a friend somewhere in the drop zone. Oh, I sincerely hope there are magnets in this game. I'm not betting on it, but still. Okay. Ergonomic grip, rate of fire, crit chance, bullet speed, max health. Uh, that's amazing. I think it's wrecked my accuracy to some degree, but my crit chance is amazing. Boy, some of these suckers are kind of tough. Okay, toast those. Grab this. What do we have next? Bullet count and regen. No, I'm going to go for the rate of fire and dodge skill. I don't know what dodge skill means for us. Oh, boss is dead. Blessed be. And we explode them. Pull damage, max health. Status effect, duration, armor. Probably just the bullet damage and max health. In retrospect, that rate of fire might not be the best for me. But what you gonna do, right? Let's just kind of run through. The soundtrack for this honestly reminds me, oh boy, of uh, Haven quite a lot. I like it. It's a little repetitive, but whatever. Oh, this one reduces my rate of fire, increases my damage, but it gives me bullet um, penetrations and bullet size. Yeah, let's grab the gyroscopic harness. This will also give me better accuracy, I believe. I 
I wonder if it also makes my... Let's see. I wonder if it makes my flames penetrate. One would hope. I definitely wish this had just like a magnet power-up that would drop every once in a while. There's just so much junk on the ground. Right, let's just grab this. Full account damage special power. Still don't know what my special power is. Unfortunately for me. Okay. EXP gain rate, reload speed, healing bonus. Sure. And yeah, we might want to... We might want to go out of our way to grab some extra bonuses to the flamethrower, seeing as it's, it's pretty good. Okay, took a lot of damage there. It's fine. Bullet size for every 10 points of max health, extra bullet damage on reload. Uh, shockwave that pushes things away. I don't know. I guess it's not actually that huge. Let's go for the flamethrower for now. Okay, special power, special power, research gain, mag size. Uh, let's just go for the special power. Either special power is just all of our secondary effects, or it's my flamethrower, or any number of other things. Okay. Underbarrel recharge rate. Yeah, let's go for the underbarrel recharge rate. I think the special bonus applies to anything that isn't my bullet. And also the tur the the pod dropping. Let's go for Giant's Harness. And yeah, I like the... I like the reload bonus. It's not particularly amazing. Boy, these suckers are tanky. At least we can kind of just tank it. Where is it? It's all the way up there. There we go. Bullet speed, special power, or bullet damage. I'm just gonna go for the special power. I don't know what research gain even means for me. If it means anything. Or spe special power research. Research gain? I don't know. I'm mildly distracted by the fact that I'm not dead yet. Okay, so extra effect size, more special power, bullet size and collection range, or rate of fire and dodge skill. I'm gonna go for that, even if it like tanks my accuracy. We reload near instantly. There we go. Let's see, frame stock, sure. And that scale is based on like how far we've gone since our last reload, which is admittedly not very far. I'm reloading pretty often here. It still seems to be helping. We might want that extra effect size at some point. But probably later. Or kind of whenever. Uh, let's see. Enemy spawn airdrop capacity. I'm so curious about what airdrop capacity even means. Because it shouldn't be extra level, like, extra perks on leveling. It does scale the damage of it dropping, though, which is funny to me. 
Yeah, like 4% effect size is kind of tempting, but eh. Wait, am I dodging this self damage? <laughs> I am. Oh, why the heck not? Oh, the bonus damage from the self harm bullets is scales based off of uh, effect. Let's go for the Coffinite Striker. So we're actually hitting for like 600s with those. That's amazing. Okay, mag size, bullet speed, or bullet count, plus regen. Let's just keep going for the regen and healing. We want to effectively stay just above 50% health. Otherwise, we're not going to survive. Okay, let's get back up here. The bullet speed, penetrations, bullet damage. Let's go for the penetrations. See if, I can get, see if I can get that up to be a little bit higher. There we go. 30% uh, special power? Absolutely. Wow, that... That has made the, like, bonus proc ability even more powerful. Oh. Betty. Betty has arrived. I don't know how much HP the boss has, but it is my personal hope that we kill it with a, uh, a level up. Let's just go bullet size. Which I think, as far as I'm concerned, functionally means nothing to me. But you never know. The effect size, bullet damage. I don't know. I think we're going to just go for the turbine. Oh, the flamethrower does horrible things to Betty. <laughs> and so does the level up. All right. Nanobot coding. Toast Betty. Get a new gun? Grab money. Well, we survived. Wait. Drone stole my gun. Wish list now on Steam. No, thank you. I am a rude dude. Okay, so we've got this. What can we do? Drone table. It's your drone. There are many like it, but this one's yours. Once equipped with a gun, your drone will follow you in a battle, automatically upgrading itself with the choices you made from your previous run. Okay, we can sell the gun. We can interact, bring a gun for storage. Okay, so that's still in development. That's pick a mission, question mark? Okay, we have this guy. So we can get a shotgun chassis or an assault rifle chassis. Let's go for a shotgun. Take a look at our missions. Uh, claim a couple of these. Equip your drone with a level 20 weapon. Survive for a while. 90 seconds without moving. Destroy the beehive. Discover the beehives. Damage with an assault rifle. Kill slimes. Kill tankies. Kill things with the AK-47. Oh boy, there's actually a lot of these. Were there any? Yeah, there were more up here. Alright. That's kind of fun. And then this is just the gun range. I guess I'll buy both. Yeah, bring a gun for storage, bring a gun to sell. Anything else? No. So we're gonna have to... Oh. Find a crate in the world to unlock the chassis. Search the map. 
Okay, so we did pistol. Many piercing projectiles. Significantly reduced at max range or high fire rate, reload speed, and ammo. So let's, uh, let's do shotgun and see how that goes. Okay, first and foremost, I think I'm going to kill the sound effects. I'm sorry. They're just going to be too repetitive for me. Yeah, so it, it's straight up just uh, pulling every single level up that we just grabbed last time. I like that. Oh, Ducky Charm, your partner also gains these bonuses. So also a grenade launcher if I want. Tempting. I think I'm going to go for the Ducky Charm for now. But considering how effective the uh, going specials was last time, we might honestly want to consider doing the exact same thing this time around. Penetrations, mag size, or crit bonus. Okay, shall we just go down here? If I level up, then I'll come back. It's just leveling itself up over time. Like, the drone level is actually... The, the drone is just going to be stronger than I am. That's 50 meters. Holy smokes. How big is this game? Like, I apparently have only seen the thinnest of representations of what this actually has to offer. Bullet damage, spawn rate, bullet size, and collection range. I think I'm just going to go for the raw health. And I want to kill whatever whatever this tower is. Oh. Give us magnet. Okay. Reduce bullet damage, double bullet count, research drop rate, bullets fire in a helix pattern ignoring spread. Or extra EXP gain rate. The helix bar is, barrel is certainly interesting. But I think I'm going to go for the brass knuckle grip. So extra mag size, bullet speed, or special power. I don't think we currently have any specials. However... I, I know what specials have. Or what specials can lead to. Is there... Oh, there is like a way to check the map too. I guess I'm not that underleveled compared to my drone. I'm just somewhat under under leveled. Okay, six meters. Is this gonna be the beehives or something else? No, it's a chest. Okay, so we found the SMG blueprint. Definitely reload speed. We're going to run into non-stop problems if we don't. Okay. And I should probably keep looking around. It does feel like I need, might want a couple of levels before then, though. Otherwise, I'm going to run into problems. Okay. 
So extra bullet damage on hit, have a, a chance of inflicting chill. On level up, gain two turrets, max four. Place a turret that shoots 30 times over three seconds. Turret placer or an ammo rack. The turret is weirdly tempting. I think I'm going to try the turret placer. Unfortunately, it's not... Oh. Oh, I see. Its charge is very much just, hey, this is how far you have until you level up. Fine. Crit chance, penetrations, or reload speed. Oh, this is tough. We're going to go for the crit chance just because. I want the reload speed, but uh, crit chance seems legitimately better. Okay. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to go for the turrets rather than anything else is, I mean, admittedly, I don't fully have basis in this, uh, but it felt like a turret could go completely ham. With the, uh, with the right bonuses. Right, and I get two turrets per level. Especially here while I'm being accosted by a boss, I should probably grab a couple. That's research. We still haven't actually figured out what research is good for. Nagget. Uh, let's see. The holding still inflicts newly spawned enemies with confusion. A lot of crit chance lowers my rate of fire, though. Bullet damage rate of fire. I don't know. Sniper shotgun? The confusion isn't really that in important for me. Okay. Rate of fire and skill or special power. I'm gonna go for the special power. Because I think that also scales the retaliatory damage. Good rate of fire and dodge skill. I'll have to pay attention to see if a number pops up when I actually get touched. Unfortunately, we also have, like, zero healing. What is this? Oh, magnet. Okay, crit chance, crit bonus, max health and vision range. Penetrations. We already have penetrations. Let's go for this. Get my crit bonus to be just pretty much 100%. Oh, and vision range uh, zooms the game out. Yeah, let's just go looking around. This map is apparently uh, freaking massive. And yeah, that the bonus special damage meant my turrets do quite a lot of damage, in fact. It has a gun. Okay. Uh, what happens if I go over 100% crit chance? I can't imagine this game has red crits natively. 
I would love it if it did, or if it just smoothly converted all leftover crit chance into into like um just a bonus to crit damage. Okay. Final four bullets in each turret are identical to your projectiles. Bullets explode. On hit, bullets split into sub bullets. Okay, so do we want explosive magazine? I think I'm gonna go for the splitting magazine. I feel like that's going to do gnarly things to groups. We do desperately need to find some kind of health regen though. Otherwise we are very much in trouble. Dodge was really good too, so I might want to stack a bunch of that if I can. There we go. He thinks this map might be too big? Oh, you can destroy the thorns as well. That's actually really helpful. Okay, let's just get turrets down. There we go, not dead yet. Bullet speed, bullet size, collection range. Uh, none of these are amazing, let's go for this one. Okay, and then it is the big man. Let's just get a turret down. I wonder if equipping your drone with a weapon gets rid of the weapon. I guess I don't know. Uh, or sorry, it uh, gets rid of the weapon at the end of the run. Let's see, so more penetrations, research drop chance. I think I'm just going to go for the Coffinite Striker. I'll have to boost my, like, raw damage here. There. But it seems genuinely worthwhile. Yeah, they're taking 18 damage just for touching me. On hit, gain a tech stack. On fire, lose 10% of your current tech stacks. Tech splitter mo magazine, research gain, bullets, uh, split bullet damage. On hit, bullet split into one sub bullet plus one additional per augment slot you have filled. I don't entirely know how that factors, but I think that's going to be a lot. Yeah, so do we up my bullet damage, up my rate of fire, or special effect power? Uh, let's go for the special power. I don't exactly have a basis in that. Wait, can I destroy rocks? No, rocks are unbreakable. Okay, let's get a turret down. What I'd like to do is maybe also stack like a whole bunch of armor. There we go. Because the bullet damage at this point is going to help us tremendously. The rate of fire and dodge skill is tempting. But yeah, let's just go for the bullet damage. An apple. Oh, we've reached the edge. Still haven't found the beehive though. And yeah, at some point we're gonna find another magnet and we will be fit and pretty.
or we'll die. Both are entirely possible. Is this? No, it's still the edge. Yeah, I, I can't get out there. Okay. Enemies hurt. But that's fine. Okay, so turret, final bullet, credit, or lower rate of fire, more penetrations. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. It doesn't seem like any of this is... Oh, we found something. Ah, turret. There's our magnet. We got a couple of level ups off of that, so extra mag size, bullet speed, or just raw bullet damage. Okay, bullet damage, reload speed, or bullet speed. Let's go for the reload speed for now. That was, what, four levels? Uh, let's see. Let's go for a little bit of dodge skill, seeing as dying. And I, like, very possible I'm still hosed. Mallard Charm isn't terrible. Let's go for the Mallard Charm. Okay, grab an apple. Grab another apple. Yeah, there's a bunch of these thorn things here. Okay, penetrations, bullet speed, or bullet size and collection range. Let me go for that. Oh, good. Med kit. Oh, we found a another container. Being surrounded here is weirdly not that bad. Okay. Turret or extra bullet size. Let's go for the giant's harness. Right, and I should finish this off. Okay, penetration, bullet damage, bullet size. Bullet damage. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from this guy. My drone will kill him for me. There it goes. We've got worms aplenty, but that's fine. Let's see, bullet count. Actually, going for the bullet count is not the worst idea. Okay, we don't have the ultra busted heart charm this time around, but that's fine. Uh, spike grip is even better. So now retaliation damage is an AoE. Okay, so what do we want to do? Not a big AoE, unfortunately for me. But it is an AoE. The build variety in this is surprisingly solid. Okay, so where are we going? 
I've mostly just been wandering around. Which is maybe not the best idea. Uh, let's see, bullet damage or rate of fire? I'm gonna get my rate of fire back up. Because my reload speed's getting a, a, to be in a good place. But my fire rate is abysmal. I'm here for apples. There we go. Looks like we've got a couple more. Some kind of thorny thing with a couple of robots. I don't think the robots really have anything like truly worth going out of my way for. Boy, it is very satisfying watching the bullet cascade that comes off with, with a pierce. Uh, crit bonus damage? Yeah. It's not quite a... Bullet damage isn't quite as exponential as it is with uh, some of my other runs. Uh, let's see. Do we want to go for turret, turret damage? Sure. Okay, that is pretty good, though. Yeah, I should just put down two turrets simultaneously. Every time. Get rid of fire? Yeah, keep getting that up. The one problem is the bonus dodge chance. Doesn't really help my drone, but whatever. There we go. Ah, uh, it's the enemy spawn rate, effect size, or bullet size, and collection range. Go for the spawn rate, oddly enough. I'm probably still hosed, but we can deal with a couple more enemies. The denser they are, the easier it is for me to get a bullet cascade. Which is like only some extra damage, but still. And yeah, I'm, I'm playing with kind of a limited deck here, which I actually think is kind of neat. Because, like, this is not even the sum total of all of the abilities in this game. Uh, let's see. Movement speed, firing weapon, reduces movement speed for a little while, crit bonus. Nah, let's go for the stock mounted AI. So that's just going to give an EXP bonus for certain enemies that I kill as I go a long way. But um, when you check like more info for at least some of the parts, it'll say like, hey, uh, ooh, reload speed. Some of these are great. I think I'm going to go for the special power though. Um, it'll actually like tell you what all of the, um... oh, there's the boss. All of the evolutions do. And the fact that there are uh, four layers of it including like alternate branches is really exciting for me, if only because I think of the build variety in that. Okay, so we don't have the regen that we had in our last run. I'm just gonna keep going for the Cold Forge casings. And just shoot the boss, actually. Because otherwise I am in trouble. I like the shotgun. It was good. There were a couple of upgrades that we definitely could have used, but whatever. Neat game. I liked that a lot. Uh, let's see. But let's go back home. Hit no thanks. There we go. What can I do? Because I don't, I don't think I'm going to use this gun. I could try and bring it with me, but I think I'll sell it for money. I liked this gun on that guy. Uh, it wasn't quite as good because he didn't get all the proc effects, but 
Uh, I, I think what we should do is go for a gun that is purely, like, does not use special much. And doesn't have a whole lot of, like, when you hit me effects. Okay, so we have the SMG chassis and the rocket chassis. Expensive. But yeah, that seems fun. For now, though, I th think this is a good stopping point. But the, uh, let's see. But Nimrod's Guncraft Survivor is available in demo form on Steam and will be coming out soon. It, I don't think we actually have like a stated release date. Uh, but as far as Bullet Heavens go, it's got a li lot to like. The world actually has kind of a reason to explore. And uh, I guess the gun crafting system is interesting. It, it's it's just limited enough that your decisions matter, while expansive enough that you can pursue quite a lot of different builds, which I think is really neat. Uh, and I very much am looking forward to seeing where they go with this. It's got kind of the same uh, vibe as that one book, Bullet Heaven, that I played a couple months ago and enjoyed. Uh, but, geez, is there anything else to say? No, not really. So, of course, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.